Three decades after the old Hudson store closed in Detroit, leaders are celebrating their vision for the future. 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers was there for the historic groundbreaking in downtown Detroit. Well, just a little perspective for you. The last groundbreaking on the site in downtown Detroit was in 1891, and today they broke ground on what will now be the new tallest building in the city. What started out as a morning concert in the city ended with a bang. In a ceremonial bulldozing, the last standing piece of the old Hudson's building was torn down, and there to watch it all, the grandnephew of J.L. Hudson and the former CEO of the company, Joe Hudson. Well, there had to be a new use, so I think they got the right one. The store, which was described by Dan Gilbert as retail Holy Land, closed its doors in 1983 after Detroit hit hard times. When we lost Hudson's, it symbolized how far Detroit had fallen. And when it was imploded in 1998, it was a very sad day for a lot of people. After it was leveled, the vacant lot sat empty until Gilbert's bedrock company stepped in. The now vacant lot will be the home to the new tallest building in the city. Detroit is finally going vertical, and instead of this site being a sign of our decline today, this site is a site of our recovery. The property will have two buildings. A 58-story residential tower will soar over Motown with an observation deck and around 400 residential units. Next to it, a 12-story building filled with a mix of restaurant, retail venue, and event space. We're going to see optimism, innovation, creativity, and inspiration. They don't have a name for the buildings yet, but it's clear this is a property for the future of Detroit, building on the foundation of its past. And it's estimated these buildings will take three years to build and cost one billion dollars. Reporting from downtown Detroit, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News.